What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out, Out of the Basement's Black Series talk show. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And today we are going to be talking about this week's Mando Mania reveals. We got one TVC and one Black Series to go over, just like last week. Nice. Justin, your voice is back. It's good it's to hear back. you. It's back. I'm glad to have my voice back. You sounded like a 400-year-old vampire the last time I talked to you. Yeah, <laughs> was not fun, but I did have a fun time at my cousin's wedding. Shout out to Brandon. Might have partied a little too hardy. This is where you insert the sup guys drunk clip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's good to be back. Nice job on holding down the fort, though. Saw both of your streams and your episode to figure it out. So Thank you. Glad to be back and talk about some figgies. So before we jump into it, though, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Justin, real quick, I'll get the TVC reveal out of All the right. way. I'm pretty hyped for this, but we did get to see the Book of Boba Fett version of Cad Bane, and he looks great. For a three and three quarter inch figure, doesn't really get much better than that for a Cad Bane from Book of Boba Vertical Fett. Vertical hinges? Yes. Vertical hinges is a big W. Very mm. important True. for that figure. And really just looking at this makes me excited to see the Black Series version. Right. Because we are getting a Black Series version of this figure. But yeah, good on you, TVC fans. You guys are getting a cool new media character. I know that's like a hot thing. TVC fans really want new media stuff because Black Series usually gets a lot of the new media stuff. So there you are. You got a really cool looking Cad Bane. And I think it's the first time Cad Bane's been in the vintage collection. Ooh. Moving on to the Black Series, we do have a build-up pack. Hey. You haven't had... A traditional build-up pack in a while. The mm -hmm. last one being what? Maldo, Crease, Mando? Yeah, or... Yeah, technically, because it was released after Muddy Mando, but Muddy Mando is technically supposed to be after Maldo Crease, but because of, you know... Anyways. Yeah. So this is Luke Skywalker and Grogu build-up pack from the Book of Boba Fett. It is retailing for $44.99 and is non-exclusive. Nice. So is this like the first build-up pack that is not exclusive? Because they were like all Target before. True, I think you are right. So it's kind of build-up pack. That's what they marketed it as. Some people refer to it as deluxe, but with the price and what it comes with, I would say build-up pack. Yeah, definitely considered build-up pack. It is already available for pre-order pretty much anywhere where you get your figures from. So this one will be very easy to grab. Mm-hmm. This pack does feature nine accessories, which I just want to go through them, list them off real quick. Mm -hmm. Luke's lightsaber, of course. Yoda's lightsaber, which actually adapts a TVC thing with yes. alternate hilts, one ignited, one unignited, mm -hmm. which is amazing. That's a Black Series first. Yeah. And that's something that we've been asking for for a very long very long time so i'm super happy to see that very 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 small but because it's so small we can't do the lit hilt and the unlit hilt like kind of just together it uh, the lightsaber blade is way too big to be able to be inserted in there so we have a separate lit hilt for the yoda lightsaber that you can see right here mm -hmm. the force training ball this is the same one that came with the deluxe luke from a few years ago the blast effect that you could have shooting at the boulder, detailed boulder, with a stand for Grogu so you can jump away from the blast. Mm -hmm. The chainmail rolled up in the little bundle, so it's like the choice scene that you can build out. The chest, where you can put the lightsaber in, Yoda's lightsaber that is. The backpack, and one of the frogs. So some of these are from previous... Right. Uh, build up pack accessories and then some of these are new accessories as well and i think they really did a great job with all of these accessories building out mm -hmm. those couple scenes that we see with luke and grogu and speaking of luke there's a couple things that really surprised me about this figure mm -hmm. because i think we were all assuming it was just going to be a complete reuse of the return of, of that new return of the jedi yeah. body mm -hmm. just with a new overlay mm -hmm. But actually, we get a new head. Still doesn't have a great Mark Hamill likeness, though. True. A brand new torso overlay, so it looks more like the Gi Ninja yeah. style costume. Looks from, really nice. Yeah, from Book of Boba Fett. New legs. Mm -hmm. 
at least like the lower yeah. legs. I think the thighs, you might be able to make the case for Reeves. We don't want to definitively say mm-hmm. until we have it in hand. Sometimes it's just hard to really zoom in on those photos because sometimes they're kind of low res right. and you got to compare. But yeah, the lower legs are definitely brand new. Yeah, so honestly, pretty exciting to me. Mm-hmm. I know I said on live stream that if they did a good job with this Luke figure, I would most likely be picking this pack up. Mm-hmm. And that box has definitely been checked for me. Yeah. From the neck down, it's great. I mean, I absolutely love mm-hmm. the, you know, slightly tweaked. It's not quite Return of the Jedi Luke, mm-hmm. but it's not quite how we see him in The Mandalorian either. So It's like different enough to warrant a figure because it's yeah. it's Luke, right? It's they're Luke. gonna make every outfit of Luke imaginable. And I did see Yak posted on their Instagram that the the lower legs, like the boots, are accurate. Some people were claiming they were inaccurate, mm. but there's some screenshots here. There it is. I never thought they were inaccurate, but some people did. But they are indeed accurate to that episode. Grogu also appears to have a little slight retool, like maybe some more head motion yeah it's hard to say because the original red and black box release did have a ball jointed head mm. but it does it, like i was messing around with it and it doesn't have that much articulation right, so yeah. it definitely looks like from the promo images that grogu's gonna have a little bit more head articulation or at least maybe they'll make like the hole wider so you can move the head a little bit more yeah so maybe on on the grogu it yeah. might appear to have some better articulation and yeah, that's pretty much nine accessories. Mm-hmm. Pretty decent for a build-up pack. A lot of people are comparing this one, including myself, comparing it to D4 back in the red and black box, 40th for Empire Strikes Back, the Luke and Yoda, mm-hmm. which was the same price back in 2020. It was 44.99. Yeah, and you know. To me, I'm just going to say that one seemed more worth it when I saw the sticker price oh, of yeah. 45 I did have a little sticker shock when it came to the $44.99 because D4 has, you know, Yoda has an alternate head. Right. Luke has alternate hands, and you also get the backpack, Yoda's cane, lightsaber, stuff like that. Right, and both figures were brand new too. Yeah. Head to toe. But the more I thought about the price it almost sort of makes sense depending on who you are the last mando build up pack was 38.99 mm-hmm. retail and this luke is newer than a repainted din right so like and it's nine accessories like those are some really good accessories there's a little bit of lack of paint yeah for like sure. especially on the chest right but if you think about it luke we'll call him a 25 five dollar figure yeah because that's the regular standard going rate. Grogu, when the child first released in the Black Series, the red and black box, he was 10 bucks, even way back then in the red and black box. So that's yeah. 35. And then $10 for all those accessories. Right. You know? Yep. Which, sure. Which, you know, you could definitely argue that this set is just in general way more reuse. But yeah. I think it's also worth noting that if you were to buy that Luke and Yoda 2-pack today, if it was still in stock, they actually raised the price on yeah, Hasbro Pulse's website. Yeah. So it was like fifty ninety nine or something like that. Even though that 2-pack hit clearance and tons of people got it for like as low as $14, we both bought it the day it came out and I think it was well worth yeah. the full price. And even to me, I, I feel like I wasn't sticker shocked at all by this. Of course, you know, rising prices in general, but I think for what we get, 45 is really not all that bad in my opinion right because i saw some comments of people just saying oh they're considering grogu a 20 dollars figure mm-hmm. well that's not exactly true because there's like nine or ten accessories in this pack so it's like luke grogu then ten nine or ten accessories because mm-hmm. i don't know if you count the translucent stand as an I, accessory. I like wouldn't. whatever i would whatever so i think it's safe to say you're picking up this set oh definitely like i said on stream you know pretty much i was looking for this luke costume Ever since I watched Book of Boba Fett and I got to see Luke in this outfit, I was like, that would be a sick figure. I really think that design is just a really cool, new, slight variation of Luke. So really all they had to do was get that pretty much right. 
and I'd be on board. But I think the other big selling point for me, and we always talk about stuff like this, like world building accessories, the boulder. The boulder. It's detailed too. You <laughs> it's know? painted. It has some grass or like moss or whatever yeah. on it. The boulder. I like that you get options with the boulder where you can plug in those blast yeah. effects and have Grogu jumping off. And then it also looks like there's a little flat spot if you want to have Luke standing on it, yeah. like running with Grogu. Mm. So love those options. I love world building accessories. Those moments of Book of Boba Fett are easily the best of the show, the most memorable, that with the Mandalorian stuff. So yeah. I'm down to get all of that that's stuff true. from those moments because I really, that's, really loved those That's scenes. also true because you and I both didn't really like the Book of Boba Fett yeah. with the exception of the two Mandalorian episodes yeah. that were just randomly you know, inserted into right. that show. Right. I am actually passing on this one initially so we're fighting. This, yeah. is, this is fight night. We're going to clash. OOTB is getting a divorce. <laughs> so I have three things. They're like tiered reasons. Okay, okay. So my first tier, too many Lukes. Now, don't go writing me off as a millennial prequel kid. I literally have every single Luke. <laughs> True. That they have released in the Black Series. I have every single Luke Skywalker. It's too many Lukes. It's too many of the black outfit that is just slightly changed mm -hmm. because we have the new 40th anniversary return of the jedi one which i do that i i'm gonna get that because i need a definitive return of the jedi jedi knight luke mm -hmm. we have the light cruiser luke <laughs> right slightly tweaked and hey it's from the mandalorian now we have that a book of boba fett and it's all just like blending together yeah. which even if you wanted to get a little technical that figure's technically inaccurate to the mandalorian and is more in line with return of the jedi yeah because then there was also that 2019 like walmart yeah jedi knight yeah. luke i'm like all right we gotta pump the brakes a little bit but i am gonna pick up that 40th return of the jedi luke second tier too much new media stuff if you guys have seen me on the stream these past well not these past couple weeks but lately i've been saying like I've been trying to pump the brakes on new media. Mm -hmm. Not that I dislike the new media. I enjoy Mando and or Bad Batch. But I don't want the new media stuff to take over the display. Right. I was thinking about making this like its own topic as a video. Mm. Because Hasbro clearly it has to focus on the new media. Mando, Obi-Wan Kenobi series... All, Andor is getting a bunch of figures, so obviously, like, they have to focus on new media, and I don't want that to start, like, overtaking the whole display. Right. I so, definitely get what you're saying. Yeah, so I'm pumping the brakes on new media, and then the third tier I have here is Price Shock, but honestly, not really, because, like, later in the day, I was, like, thinking about it, I'm like, it's actually not that bad. Again, Luke, 25, Grogu's 10. $10 for all those accessories, some of which are actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So it's not so much price shock anymore. But I will say, if it goes on sale. I was going to say. And to close this out, Mainline Deluxe always goes on sale. I don't think there's a single Mainline Deluxe that has not gone on sale, at least for the past, like, two years. Right. Jar Jar, Dark Trooper, Saw Gerrera, like, they usually, and a Luke like that I think it's gonna go on sale and when it does I'll pick it up yeah so real quick before we go what's your clearance price what's the clearance price that gets you in on this build-up pack M maybe 30 at the most okay maybe a nice 29.99 clearance fair enough but if that never happens I am fine not having this in the collection because yeah. how many Grogu's do I need and how many Lukes do you truly need? The answer is all, but even yeah. I'm starting to be like, all right, right. hold up. It, it, it's, a, it's an interesting perspective because I completely agree with all of your logic and reasoning, <laughs> but I'm still just like, yeah, no, I just want this build-up pack. Like to me, everything mm. that was included with it has made it justifiable for me at full price. Yeah, and that's cool. It's a cool pack, but sometimes 
we just pass on surprisingly yeah we pass on quite a no. bit here at out of the base no no justin you got to play into the narrative we buy everything we we buy everything and we're always defending hasbro's shitty practices and we're hasbro's and we just gobble it off like i see your comments <laughs> i watch other people's black series youtube channels too i see your comments out there and they're ill-informed, damn it. But I do, I side note, I do think it's funny that I sometimes I think people don't think that we're like human beings, and we oh, also for, for like sure. we also watch YouTube. And I'm like, oh, I see that comment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's pretty much all we have for you this week. Another pretty awesome Mando Mania in the books. Uh, so far, so good. I mean, last week, Tusken Chieftain, Tusken Warrior. We're getting new reveals. Yeah. And that's good. Right. Because there was a dry spell for a few months there. Right. We were really scraping to try and make content for Figure It Out. So it's always nice to have some new news to talk about. And it's even better when it's two figures that are pretty damn awesome looking. So with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed this week's episode of Figure It Out. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, because we're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. And if you'd like to support us in a more direct manner, we do also offer a channel membership, and we have a small collection of merch. There are links for everything in the description of this video. Big thank you and special shout out to our current channel members though. Your continued support is truly appreciated and thank you to everyone else out there for watching. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. See you guys later. And we will see you all next time on Out of the Basement.